Hey folks, this is Vince with Dance Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Infraspace. This is a game that is leaving Steam's early access program in about a day or so. So what you're looking at for the most part should be reflective of the finished product. I am playing on the 1.0 build. I was granted access to that. This is a Factorio-like game, although you don't control an actual person. There's easy, medium, and hard difficulties. You can enable a creative mode to unlock more stuff. You can also set the transport difficulty in the sense that um, there's easy, normal, hard. You can have it so that traffic is just one way, like the cars don't have to come back the way they came. There's two maps. There's Desert Valley and a randomly generated map. And my issue with the randomly generated map is that it's all desert and it's very bright. And that desert will cause resources to blend in with it. For example, sulfur is a yellow resource. And if you're looking at it from a very high top-down view, it's very difficult to sort of pinpoint or make out from higher up. You have to like zoom in and scan around. And I looked twice. I could not find um, a button that allowed me to see all the resources on the map and allowed me to see them easily. Um, so there was no way to identify, no filter to see all the different resources on the map. I just thought that was kind of a, a mistake in my, in my opinion. I think that's something they could have enabled. Um, the whole idea of this game is to kind of like in Factorio, you're going to be building this rocket and just escaping. Like, I guess there was a crash landing kind of thing, and you're trying to get enough resources to get off the planet. So if you've played Factoria, you'll be very familiar with that scenario. There are a number of different resources, number of different buildings. There's just a lot to this game. And one of my complaints with it is that it's extremely slow from a technological standpoint. Trying to research stuff is just really, really slow. I found myself alt-tabbing and watching Netflix or playing some other game while I was waiting for this research to be done. And yes, there's terraforming. Yes, there's other new features that have been recently introduced to the game, which is fantastic. But I haven't been able to get to it because I was given two days notice to like create some coverage for this. And I don't have the time to sit here for several hours and wait for the research tree to, to unlock everything. Uh, yes, I could enable everything to be unlocked, but I shouldn't have to. Um, in Factorio, there are sliders that you can set uh, that sort of fine-tune the difficulty and the resources and research. You can fine-tune all of that with sliders. Here, it's just... Easy, normal, hard, or creative. And even on easy, research is incredibly slow, at least I found it to be. So that's just something I, I'm, I don't know. I like, I, this is going to be more of like a first impressions kind of deal because I couldn't get far enough to unlock more of the cool things. Um, like in Factorio, the research is done via like these, these beakers of different colors. Like you start with the blue beakers and move on to the green beakers. And then I think there's yellow and red and you need resources in order to create these beakers. So yeah. And then you're also going to be creating habitats so that people can move and work because different buildings will have different labor requirements. And by putting down like parks and satisfying the habitants needs, these buildings will upgrade automatically. So if you've played games like Caesar, uh, Caesar 4 is one of my all-time favorite games. Too bad it doesn't work on my PC anymore, but it was a lot of fun. As you supply these habitats with like computers and other resources that it may want, they will just automatically upgrade. Something similar is if you've played the Anno series, that's more recent. So if you've played the Anno series, you know, you could totally do that. There's also pipes in this game. You can create storages and there's like methane pipes, crude oil, water, and oxygen pipes. So you can, instead of having to have your trucks deliver everything everywhere, uh, you can create pipes instead. Uh, there's uh, distribution centers that you can eventually unlock. And there's all sorts of cool things. It's just, again, waiting for it to unlock is my pet peeve. Like, again, I found myself alt-tabbing on a regular basis. So, like, I'm not trying to, like, I'm trying to get my criticisms out as quickly as possible and make this video a respectable length. The rest of it's fine. Um, I like the idea of, you know, putting buildings down and growing a little colony and trying to unlock everything there is. And I love the idea that there's terraforming as well. I just 
I just wish it wasn't an all or nothing kind of thing. Like I wish I could, I wish there were sliders to where I can make the research fast or uneasy. I just, you know, I, I wish there was a custom difficulty set. And getting back to the whole resources thing, I wish there was a way to click a button and see all of the resources on the planet at a glance, at a co at a contrast, so that I can easily make them out on the planet surface. Um, that's that's a problem. Another issue that I had was with the piping. Like when you select something to build it. It doesn't register that you've selected it. Like there's it the the button that you click on doesn't indent. So I can't tell if I've clicked on it or not and I'm in build mode or not. So that that's another problem that I have, especially when I'm building pipes. There's no confirmation that I've clicked on the pipe button to start building it. I just have to like hope that I did it, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I start building pipes where I need them to. So this game isn't perfect. I still feel like it could have spent more time in early access. But I sincerely hope the developers do plan to build on it in the future. At $25, honestly, like I would wait for a sale if it were me. There's still some things about this game that just, like Factorio is a little bit more expensive, but it has a lot more content to it. Um, it's just, it's just a better game in my opinion. This one isn't bad, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying like this game could still stand to be improved in a number of ways. I just feel like it's leaving early access a bit too early. But that's my first impressions of it. Feel free to check it out if this is the sort of thing that interests you. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.